finally the long-awaited review of the moon drop may sorry i took so long on this one but here it is let's just jump into it hey friends and welcome back to your and kids audio today we're talking about the moon drop may dsp one of the newer moon drop DSP IMs. I know the Shoe 2 is the newest one, or Shoe 2 DSP, but that's far less interesting than the May DSP. The May DSP for me is amazing for one reason, is that every single preset sound good. From the standard presets to the reference to the VSDF to the Harman, the bass head preset, every single preset sound correct. And that's mainly due to how the upper mid range and treble is handled. The upper mid range on here is neither too shouty or too compressed. It's just perfectly neutral i guess super easy to like and you can see this upper mid range in majority of the presets now the treble is also very smooth sounding not a lot of micro details popping up in it unfortunately but it is 64 dollars, so we're not going to complain about details here the details here are just all right but the good thing about this treble is that it's never going to be peaky it's never going to be too much nor is it too little it's just nice and smooth a bit smeared over in the details but again that's all right all in all a very pleasing upper mid range to treble implementation now when it comes to the lower mids and the bass you have your various options all of which again sound correct they don't sound muddy or bloated in any way at all even the bass head setting sound good so depends on how much bass you want you would pick from you know your options there now i do have to say one thing though is that the Harman preset sounds actually bassier than the bass head presets or i should say the bass comes across more distinct on the harman preset versus the bass head preset if you will all in all the tuning is very good timbre also very good no peakiness no unnaturalness to be heard at all just super super solid job from Moondrop here. Compared to the other past DSP IEMs, the only one that I really like is the Moondrop Jew, which that one can come across a bit too bright for some of you out there. Other than that, I can't think of one other Moondrop DSP IEMs or any other DSP IEMs on the market right now that I would recommend over the May DSP. Just because of the variety of very good sounding tuning just right at your fingertip on the app, you can switch whenever, very, very convenient to use, especially for those of you who are maybe newer in the community or just someone who wants something cheap and good sounding that you can take anywhere with you. And then you can change the sound in under two seconds to anything you want in the presets and they all sound good. Now let's talk about technicalities really quickly. Let's bring up my scale right here. Although the tuning is spectacular the details leave much to be desired though again I wouldn't really complain too much about this since it's only $64 and it comes with every single conveniences of a DSP IM like USB-C and also EQ yes you can EQ in the Moondrop app as well now back to technical performance I would land this thing in between the one herb and the Aria 2 it's just all right for the price. The biggest complaint technical wise for me would be the incisiveness of instruments, especially treble instruments. Everything in a treble, although smooth, just feel a bit smeared over, overly smooth if you will. Instruments have this soft kind of bluntiness to them if you will, so not as tangible not as incisive next is comparison with the other iems within the price bracket i think in the 50 60 dollar mark the biggest opponent to the moondrop may dsp is the truth ears x critical zero red or project red as it used to be called between the two project red has more details very apparently just a b between the two project red just wins in that department the only thing that the project red doesn't have over a dsp i would say is you know the dsp type of qualities like the presets the eq the usb-c ease of use and 
all the stuff like that. So it's not really a fair comparison, you can say. They're both very different type of products. The DSP qualities will be appreciated by those who like that kind of quality of life upgrade that DSP IEMs can give you. I would say though, from a purely, purely sound perspective, I still prefer the Project Red because of the tuning and the technical performance for the price. I think it's still number one under $100. But the Moondrop May DSP comes in at a very close second place. I would say if you don't want to worry about losing your Apple dongle or any kind of dongle whatsoever, you mainly listen off your phone and you like having that option to switch tuning whenever you want to anything you want and they all sound, again, pretty good, then Moondrop May DSP might just be the one for you. All right, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll give the Moondrop May DSP a big green thumbs up out of every single DSP I am for Moondrop right now. The May DSP is by far the best one. And in terms of under $100 I am, I would say the Moondrop May DSP is my second best recommendation. Project Res number one, May DSP number two. I prefer this tuning. Actually, almost every single preset in the Moondrop May DSP to the Moondrop Aria 2 and the 500LM by Simcott. The tuning, again, in the Moondrop May DSP is just spectacular. Although, again, the Aria 2 and the 500LM beats it in details, obviously, by the technical scale. But for me, tuning matters way more than technical performance. Hence why the Moondrop May DSP is my number two best recommendation if you're looking for something under $100. And number one, if you're looking for DSP. With that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye.